When Steve first logged on to the server, he could find none of his friends who were normally on at this point. Steve found this very peculiar, so he decided to go look at Spawn to find his friends. When Steve came to a set of two open doors, Steve took the one on the left. This was not the way back to spawn, and Steve knew it perfectly. Perhaps Steve just wanted to go back to his house before going to spawn. Ah yes, Steve's mansion. What a wonderful piece of art. Life without taking this huge detour that wasted almost our entire day to come see this beautiful masterpiece seems almost unthinkable. I mean, look at this thing. It is just gorgeous. But unfortunately, Steve had places to be, and he could not stay for long to admire this gorgeous, gorgeous work of art. So he continued on his way. When Steve came to the edge of a cliff, Steve decided to gently walk down the mountain instead of jumping off and breaking both his ankles. But, eager to prove me wrong, Steve decided to jump off the cliff, and then continued on his way. One day later, we finally arrive at spawn, but Steve is shocked to find that his friends are nowhere in sight. Having no other options, Steve decides to travel through the nether portal and look for his friends there. Look Steve, I know this is hard for you to believe, but all I want is for you to be happy. So please just listen to me for once. Here, I'll prove to you that I want you to be happy. When Steve came to a set of two trees, Steve chopped down the one on his right. Steve, what? What are you doing? No, stop that! Stop it! Don't you know the first rule of Minecraft? Steve, stop digging down! No, no, no! Steve, Steve, stop digging straight down! Please, please, please! And there's the lava. This is why we can't have nice things, Steve. Restart. You see, Steve? This is what happens when you disobey me. You die, I have to restart the game, and neither of us wins. So just obey me from now on, please. Steve, 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 do you like bacon? You do? So do I. But, unfortunately, that has nothing to do with this story. Please continue. Look, Steve, I'm sorry about that whole bacon thing back there. I'm just feeling a little out of sorts, is all. I want to make it up to you. Just go into the red door, and you'll have all the bacon in the world. Really, Steve? Really? You could have had all the bacon you could ever want, and you chose to disobey me just because of some weird feud that you made up in your head. I mean, do you really hate me that much, Steve? Do you really dislike my story that much that you would give up all that bacon just to spite me? Okay, you know what? You know, I'm done. I am done. Goodbye.